I thought I'd take a few minutes and go over the lathe that I've been posting in pictures and uh, show you how far I've gotten. Pretty close to turning. I need uh, a couple parts yet to put on so that I can actually cut the wood. But the general mechanics of the lathe are finished. I got the VFD and the motor mounted and the drive working. I got a remote so that I can clip it wherever I want. There's four preset speeds, the variable speed. degrees at 45 degree increments so I can turn inside, outside, upside down if I want to I think. <laughs> the VFD is mounted down here on the panel so it's out of the way. doesn't get beat up. This is a longitudinal feed. Um, it's got a template power back here so I can duplicate pieces. That's adjustable in and out for different diameter turnings. This is a section to where I can do rose engine turnings the full length. Router mounts in there. The cable mounts from here to the rosette that mounts on the back of the head so that this will pump. And I can follow the template with the other one and put the rosettes or the rosette pattern on the diameter of the piece in the same pattern as what the base material has been done to already. This is all adjustable and uh, the standard cutter goes on a different post. So I've changed over from the router attachment. This is a tool post that will have the cutter uh, for turning the material set up more for a smaller diameter. Uh, there again, carriage moves across. The cutter will come out so I can adjust the height and depth or turn it. Um, some other things that attach to this that I'll go over later. Anyways, the capacity of this would be 6 feet between centers, uh, 24 inches in diameter. Um, by putting an extension bed on, I can probably do 14 feet between centers because I can turn half of it. The tailstock won't be in the way. Flip it over and turn the other half. So, there's just an introduction to this lathe so far. Hopefully, I can soon be turning things on it. <laughs> 